What's going on, Gotcha Gang? Kawaii50 here with another FGO video, hoping you all have a very merry gill fest and that you are swimming in skill gems galore. Of course, with a brand new event comes brand new event specific craft essences. And in a lot of cases, honestly, gang, these aren't just for farming. They actually perform very well outside of the event and you can max limit break them very, very easily. Which of course segues us into the topic of this video, the Caldea Kitchen Truck or Unlimited Burger Works, whatever you wanna call it. This craft essence, which you will get for free by participating in Gilfest and farming it as much as you should. I want to see boxes in the triple digits, people. You will be getting arts and quick performance boost up by 15% and an NP damage boost up by 15% as well. So outside the event, who can we put this on? Well... That is what I am about to tell you. Here are five servants starting from the freebies, eventually going into the I need to pay St. Quartz to get category. You give these guys called a kitchen truck or anyone that fits a similar description. Let's get started. The first freebie servant I'm going to mention is a one star and it is Charlotte Corday. Don't worry, NA faithful who have not yet been spoiled by JP, she will be arriving on NA soon enough. If you're on JP, maybe consider throwing this on her if you happen to have it in your second archive. Not only does Charlotte Corday have a quick and arts heavy deck, but she also has an arts type noble phantasm. On top of that, her third skill, Haphazard Planning, yes, it can increase her arts card effectiveness, but the effect she gets from it is random. It can be arts card effectiveness, critical strength, or NP strength. And if you're using this before you use a Noble Phantasm, well, getting critical strength is kind of the L when you're trying to plan around that. So, if you give her a call day a kitchen truck, you're going to increase her star drop overall, you are going to increase her NP gain, and you are going to increase the damage of her Noble Phantasm, both from the Arts Effectiveness boost and the NP damage boost, making Charlotte just a little more consistent. I would be utterly wrong to begin this video without mentioning one of the most coveted freebie servants in the entire game, Chloe Von Einsburn, who happens to be a perfect pick for this craft essence. She's got a quick and arts heavy deck, her projection skill increases her quick and arts effectiveness, and on top of all that, she's got an arts type noble phantasm, which if you played her event, you have her at NP5, so that is definitely dealing that 1500% extra damage. That's, that's a lot of damage, and since you're already getting a lot of damage out of that, why don't you multiply that a little bit more and take it to the next level? Hey, maybe that extra 1,000 hit points damage was just what you needed to finish off that boss. Gang, now we are getting into I may have had to pay money for this character territory, and the first character is one I honestly forget exists in the game a lot of the time. I don't really see her around a lot, and some people do consider her quote-unquote bad. It is Mochizuki Chiyome, the Assassin of Paraiso. She checks all the boxes, folks. She's got the quick and arts heavy deck, she's got the arts noble phantasm, she can increase her own arts effectiveness, and her noble phantasm, well gang, if you were actually willing to pull for multiple copies of her, well, it is going to be dealing some pretty good damage. Not nearly as much as Chloe because of the assassin class, but it is going to be a serviceable amount of damage. I'll tell you, gang, I kind of feel like Mochizuki Chiyome is kind of underrated. I do have a friend on my friends list with a level 90 NP5 one. They really, really love the character, and it shows because she can deal a ton of damage. So, if you're one of those people that loves her too, why don't you go ahead and give this craft essence a shot on her. Next up, I have to mention one of the most divisive servants on NA, and I can just hear the underbelly of Twitter seething and screaming for justice. Justice for Emia Alter. That is right, Emia Alter is an excellent pick for this craft essence. 
the quick and arts deck. The projection skill, much like his freebie counterpart, Chloe Von Einsburn, and Unlimited Lost Works Gang. After that rank up quest, it is a pretty powerful noble phantasm it ignores defense up it doesn't ignore all defenses but it ignores defense up and honestly that can be good enough for you if you are focusing on one of those bosses that emia altar is designed to just straight up take down pesky sabers don't exist when this gunman is on the case and now I'm just sure that my comments are overflowing with the people who comment on FGO's Twitter posts. Let it go, people! Let it go! And I know y'all will be mad if I didn't include a five-star servant on this list. So let's include a five-star servant on this list. It is a Lancer, and she has honestly a pretty vocal fan base from what I've seen. It is Bradamante. Just go ahead and watch her Noble Phantasm and you'll understand why her fan base is so just utterly enamored with her. I'm not gonna say it, people, but you know why. She does have a skill that increases her quick and arts card effectiveness called Merit of Claremont. This is a 20 to 30% increase for three turns. Stacks very well with what CKT is giving us initially. She also has a pretty good Noble Phantasm, deals damage to all enemies. It has that coveted increase NP strength buff that activates before the damage is dealt. So you've already got increased NP strength. Why don't you just go ahead and stack another 15% on that, I promise you won't be sorry. And those are five servants that can benefit from the glorious Caldea kitchen truck. Of course, we gotta stick to five because one, people like that number, and two, it really helps when it comes to time because I don't want to keep you here all day. But if you have another servant that you think would benefit well from Caldea Kitchen Truck, why don't you go ahead and let us know down in the comment section below. If you've already used it with one of the servants I've mentioned, let me know how that's going for you. I want to see what some of those results are. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, potentially subscribe. If you like what I'm doing, check out my Patreon in the link below. Come to the Discord to talk FGO and follow my Twitch because once I finally get done with this move, people, we are going to be streaming some games. This is Kawaii 50 hoping you have a phenomenal day. I'll see y'all in the next video.